Hey, what is going on, people? This is Other Tenshi, and how about these trailers, huh? We've been getting, we've been getting trailers for everything. Trailers for for movies coming out, anticipated films. Uh, trailers for, you know, trailers for animated films coming out. Trailers for new series coming out. All this stuff is just hitting the hitting the airwaves like crazy. And I wanted to basically give my thoughts on one of them, and I decided to do Fantastic Four. Um, now, full disclaimer, I am a fan of Fantastic Four, yes, but I was only introduced to them because of the animated series. Now, they've had a few animated series in the past, um, and uh, that's, how I know, that's how I know of them. And then fast forward to the Fantastic Four movies that came out in the early 2000s, I loved number one. I liked the number one, but... I did not like number two as much as I did number one. Number two, I felt like they, they just like a lot of fans, I felt like Galactus was dumbed down and holding, like, puff of smoke, that's it. Um, and I felt like the Silver Surfer was dumbed down, honestly. And that whole thing just didn't make any sense. Now, with this whole thing, with the new, with the newest trailer for Fantastic Four, the way they're going about it, obviously they don't want to be compared to the, um, to the first one, which is why so much is different. And, um, it's going to be based on the, um, Ultimate Universe Fantastic Four, so that's why they're younger, and that's why they look the way they do. Now, as far as, uh, you know, as far as the story, it looks like inter interdimensional travel is going to be a huge thing here, not just space travel. And, the thing looks great, okay? Um, the biggest, the biggest ripe a lot of people had about the thing... The first time around was was and that I've noticed is it looked like a guy in a suit. I mean, yeah, he had the personality down, he had the mannerisms down, but it still just looked like a guy in a suit. And you know what I'm saying? It just, just looked too too cheap. Um, and this one, it does look like a pile of rocks, um, but it it looks it looks great. It, he lo he looks awesome. As far as the rest of them go, I like that I like the direction they're going. Say what you want about the actors that they picked. Um, but these, these people are, are good actors, so let's just see how, um, the movie turns out. This is not my most anticipated summer movie of 2015, but it's somewhere up there. I will be seeing the film, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna review it, because honestly, I think I'm gonna leave that to, to some of my other people, but, yo, let me know what you guys think of this. Oh, and before I go, Doctor Doom, that little tidbit we got about Doctor Doom, um, I can't tell if it's his face or if it's supposed to be a mask. Um, I guess we'll, you know, I guess we'll see. Now, the fact that he's supposed to be a hacker of some sort in this, um, it's intriguing. I wonder why they made that change. It's not, a, like, a huge thing to me because I have no bias towards, um, towards the Fantastic Four comics, uh, compared to the, uh, compared to the movies based on the fact that, that I don't follow the comics as closely as I did the animated series. So, just just compared from what they did before, I believe that this is a welcome change. But, due to the fact that the movie's not even out yet, and all we got was, like, one really cool trailer, I mean, two cool trailers, one teaser trailer, one really cool, you know, longer extended trailer, I like the way it was going. Now, everything's gotta be dark, everything's gotta be brooding, blah, blah, blah. This is the stage we're at now with these films. But that, um, if, if done right, it could be a good thing, you know what I'm saying? So let me know what you guys think of this trailer. Do you, um, do you have high hopes or high expectations about this film at all? Or, n or none whatsoever? If you're a Fantastic Four fan, let me know, um, what your favorite storyline in the comics were if you read the comics. Um, and in the meantime, I bid you peace, love, and never be normal. Thank you for subscribing.